what's going on guys I'm back and I got another match on Fallen using my tryhard MP7 it seems Fallen's always a match that I get really good ga games on and the reason is because the spawns are probably the most predictable out of any map on Modern Warfare 3 that I can think of there's really only three areas that they pop up they're gonna pop up somewhere you know back there in the junkyard they're gonna spawn somewhere behind B Dom because there's like five spawn points over there or they're going to spawn in the back of Charlie in that back tunnel area. Uh, you know, back there. I call it the woods. I don't really know what the actual call out for it is. And nor do I care either. But I'm using two attachments. I got Silencer Extended Mag. That's pretty much all I use when I run Specialist. And if I wasn't running Specialist, I'd either be running Kick, Focus, or Range on the MP7 with Silencer. And this is the area I was talking about. Uh... Right here by this little playground. They always spawn in the huge, huge waves behind this thing, especially on ground war. So you really got to be careful when turning the corner here because sometimes you'll be running up and they'll be popping up right in your face. And this is another area that I tend to watch out for. It's really the point where you die or you go on a long kill streak. Is you come around the back of Beatom. There's so many spawn points back here. You know, they spawn right here to my left. They spawn right here to my front. And if they happen to spawn in a wave, it's for sure you're going to die. There's no way you'll stay alive in there if they're spawning in waves. But as you can see, I'm pretty much just trying to bull rush my way through these guys. Uh, I ended up taking a different route here because that guy was putting some serious shots into me. So I just decided to go the other way. You know, how many of you guys probably would have challenged that guy and died? You know, you just got to know when to run away. And I think that was the guy that... Uh, was shooting at me so I decided to come back over here I want to push towards the A flag because this is the area that you want to be to defend A see right here all you gotta do is head, glitch, head glitch that wall but I'll be showing you guys this in the next episode of class and session I haven't decided yet what maps I'll be doing but for sure Fallen's gonna be in there I have a lot of good tips for Fallen a lot of good areas a lot of good routes to run too and uh, Let's see, what else do I want to talk about, guys? It's the weekend. If you're watching this, you're probably watching it sometime on Saturday. And um, me, personally, I'll be in Vegas because I'm recording this before the weekend. And I'm going to do, like, a schedule upload. So I have a, a birthday party that I have to go to out there in Vegas. Lucky for me, I live in California. I can just drive, you know, a couple hours, you know, over to Las Vegas and uh, get my little party on. But, yeah, man, I'll be out there. Probably till about Sunday, so if you're watching this on Saturday, there won't be any videos Sunday, but there'll definitely be one on Monday, so just keep that in mind. Also, how are you guys liking the class in session, man? I've, I've tried to really give you guys the most information without clogging your minds with BS, and that's something I really tried to stay away from, you know, in those uh, two episodes that I released so far. You know, I first did the spawn video, I decided to revamp it a little bit, and then I came out with you know my uh, my power position and I think that's probably the best way to show you guys how to play because all you really need to know to do well on, on Call of Duty is you need to know where they spawn and then you know you need to know where to post up at and as long as you know those things I mean I mean you're golden you know you know where they're gonna pop up at you know where you have advantages over the enemy and take a look at this right here thank God that sniper got that second guy because <laughs> I swear, I always get killed by people spawning like that. I'll be shooting at one guy, and his teammate is always the one that kills me. And that's another reason why the teammate shielding strategy that I taught you guys a while back is so effective. Because you only have so much ammo in your, in your gun at one time. You know, there's not much you can do when you come in, like, up against multiple enemies. So you can kind of take advantage of that. And what I advise you guys do is when they're spawning over here by B and like towards the back over by Charlie, be really cautious. Always, I would actually say creep through this area here. You know, unless the other team is sniping and you know they're back here sniping, aiming towards, you know, the side I just came from. Then, um, yeah, you know, of course you want to push so the snipers can't get set up and start aiming down sight on that, uh, on that back alleyway. But this was the final push where I said, hey, you know what, either I'm going to get this Moab or I'm going to die off my streak. Because after rushing the whole match, I didn't want to sit back and hide just to get the Moab on this one. It, it probably would have been wise to do so. You know, I get lucky a couple times. Get a nice three-man spray right here. And like I said, you got to be careful because you never know how many guys are going to be popping up back there. And they're not always going to line up for you in a little beeline for you to shoot. 
You know, a lot of times it'll be one to the far left, one to the far right. But these guys are spawning all over the place. You can see right here, this guy with the scorpions wounds me. Right here, I actually should have regen my health if I was trying to stay alive. But I didn't really care. You know, I already got my Moab. Check out the same guy I killed. Pops up right next to me. So, like I said, they spawn in waves in that back corner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to leave a rating if you haven't done so. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.